particles or macromolecules that are too large and too charged or polar to pass through biological membranes are taken into cells by a process called endocytosis. Phagocytosis is one of three types of endocytosis. In phagocytosis, which means cellular eating, part of the plasma membrane engulfs the particle. Unicellular protists use phagocytosis for feeding, and some white blood cells use it for defending the body, engulfing foreign cells or substances. The resulting vesicle, called a phagosome, fuses with a lysosome, and the contents are digested. In another type of endocytosis called pinocytosis, small vesicles pinch off from the plasma membrane, bringing small dissolved substances or fluids into the cell. Pinocytosis means cellular drinking. A type of endocytosis called receptor-mediated endocytosis is used by animal cells to capture specific macromolecules from the cell's environment. For example, most mammalian cells use this method to take up cholesterol packaged in low-density lipoprotein particles. The cell uses receptors that specifically recognize and bind to the LDL particle. The receptors are clustered together in a reinforced membrane structure called a coated pit. An LDL particle contains 1,000 or more cholesterol molecules at its core. A monolayer of phospholipids surrounds the cholesterol core and is embedded with proteins called ApoB. These ApoB proteins are specifically recognized by the receptors in the cell's membrane. The receptors in the coated pit bind to the ApoB proteins on the LDL particle. The pit is reinforced by a lattice-like network of proteins called clathrin. Additional clathrin molecules then add to the lattice, which eventually pinches off a part of the membrane with the attached LDL particle inside. Inside the cell, the vesicle soon becomes uncoated as the clathrin molecules dissociate from the vesicle and from each other. Although not shown here, another vesicle then fuses with the LDL-containing vesicle, causing the pH inside to drop and forcing the receptors to dissociate from the LDL particle. After the receptors are released from the LDL particle, the vesicle fuses with a lysosome. A lysosome carries enzymes capable of digesting the LDL particle into amino acids and fatty acids. At the same time, the cholesterol is released into the cytoplasm. The cell either uses the cholesterol immediately or stores it for later. Meanwhile, the cell's LDL receptors are returned to the plasma membrane. Once in the plasma membrane, they can take in more LDL particles by receptor-mediated endocytosis. In contrast to endocytosis, exocytosis is the process by which a variety of substances leave the cell. For example, newly made proteins destined for secretion are packaged into vesicles inside the cell and transported to the plasma membrane. The vesicle membrane and plasma membrane fuse together. The contents of the vesicle spill outside the cell while the vesicle membrane is smoothly incorporated into the plasma membrane.